those years back yes. who were discovered you know Kabisa. how people go knocking doors and opportunities and uh, I mean it's amazing to I'm realize because of that experience I have had a lot of divine connection mm. and so much of the grace of God and the power of God speaking for myself wow. and my music because you can see I was like God just connected me with the people who were to take me to the next level right. and to give me a platform to expose my talent so another divine connection i come to kbc from so, church so they took you they to took KBC. me to kbc right. to see people used to sing uh, to do playback from their recorded music here is a girl from church who doesn't have any recorded music ah. a teenager then i come and i'm like i don't have any music to play back so i had to come with my church people to play for me live so i did it differently because i sang live in studio and wow. there was the next divine connection the kasangas were there and they just took over in mentorship uh for me and in recording my music wow. and i was in good hands great yes so that time you are now you've come from Nyeri yes. and you and kbc the studios guys are playing yes that was on Joy Bringer, so Joy Bringer, Sing, Sing and Shine. I think there was another one called Sunday Music Parade. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those were beautiful days, eh? Beautiful days where we used to sing. You sing because you love God and you want to serve mm -hmm. God. You, you've got no idea about money or fame and you do not care. So the, the, the fame and the money in a kukuta like I mean, you're it's the none of your business you know the way the bible says seek ye first, first the, the kingdom, kingdom of god and every other thing follows it works amen yeah so no money you, I mean, no you, fame, to you don't even know you become famous by singing on tv yes. you're singing because you love god amen yes so now kasangas took you yes they, they recorded my record. first uh, album what was that album the first it the was first a album. big hit in uh -huh. the early 90s i think around 1994. wow yes you album um there was a kikuyu album and a swahili album the kikuyu song which was a very big hit then was like it was a, wow. a, a, a big big song then <laughs> Yes. So then you started getting partnerships with other people, musicians. Um, around, was it around that time? No, uh, down the, many years down the line, no, around 2000 or 1999, I was entered, I, I got into a contract with an international company, mm -hmm. and my song Fura Here was entered for, um, th they wanted to do a, a compilation CD for the Afro pop stars from all over africa wow. and the company just entered my song and i happened to be picked as the only gospel artist among al alongside a lot of secular big big huge artists like papa wemba manu dibango yosundu mm. and uh, they did a compilation cd called the stars of afro pop which was uh, released all over the world Wow. So anybody who is a fan of all those huge, huge, huge uh, pop stars would buy the album and get a gospel artist so from Kenya. So it gave me a big, uh, a huge That's continental right. breakthrough and international yeah. breakthrough. And uh, uh, my follow up, so basically it gave me platforms in internationally in right. very many countries. Okay. Then my follow up album uh, with the cover song Kunadawa was 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 just really really big mm -hmm. i think it was bigger in kenya than now furahia yeah. furahia gave me a platform out there. outside so it opened even more doors okay. and i started now spreading my wings to other nations which so far have been able to to minister or to perform in over 35 countries around wow, the world that's africa and beyond yes yes in as far as russia south korea amazing yeah some yeah, of these concerts you see them on youtube <laughs> yeah <laughs> countries where you never think a, a gospel musician can go and you know minister in those countries in, in, in some i don't even know if they know it's gospel they are just crazy ah, about the songs and they fill the stadiums wow yeah so that's that's why i was telling you this uh for me because mm. i know this the spirit of god that works behind me as a person and my music mm -hmm. and that is why 23 years down the line i am still praising god and 
I am still reminding myself, you're still the, that little girl yeah. who came from Nyeri to sing, not looking for fame and money because that is the core purpose of yeah. my ministry. Wow. Yes. Tell us one experience internationally that, you know, blew you away and you thought, where am I? What is happening? Is this really me? <laughs> yes, the South Korea. Uh -huh. I think I had over 10,000 Asians, no wow. black person. Wow. Yeah, and recently in Burundi, whereby mm -hmm. the stadium was packed and, 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 and the presi their president was there as Amazing. well, just before they went on war. When you see that platform, you remember the God you serve and the divine connections, right? And I remember that little beginnings cannot hinder a big destiny. Come on. As far as you embrace God, who is the giver, and not embrace, I will never embrace my voice or my name is Esther Ahome. I will always embrace God because mm. I've realized the secret of embracing him. Once you embrace him, then every other thing automatically comes. Good things. Challenges will be there, but you will always emerge as a winner, and you'll be relevant, and you'll be refreshed, and mm. you'll be strengthened, and you will speak life to people, and you will sing life to people, such that um, I see kids who are my, my kids' age, and, and they, they know my music, they were not born then, and they sing along, and I am like... God, I thank you. It cannot happen by my own power or my mm. own effort. It can only happen if the Spirit of God speaks, if the blood of Jesus speaks on behalf of you and whatever you do. Amen. Yes. Kunadawa was a big hit, especially that song. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, I remember that time, I mean, the song played, it played in pubs. I'm not mm -hmm. really sure mm -hmm. gospel <coughs> music had gone that far, especially mm -hmm. in places where you never thought in pubs and so on. Yes. And you were criticized. Yes. People were saying, Mumbo Zako is not choose a bar. How was that for you? Uh, I, 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 I choose to ignore people who are ignorant mm. because at the end <laughs> of the day, if you listen to my music, I'm very prophetic and very, evangel very evangelistic. Mm -hmm. Right. So my music is for people out there. Uh, Ma Kunadawa, there is healing. It's for people out there. And I was always praying, Anthony, that um, I don't want to be a confined evangelist mm. or prophet who can only speak to the church. I want to follow my call. I'm called to the nations and to everyone, to bring healing to everyone. So if my songs cannot be played there, then the people who don't ever go to church can get um, an opportunity to hear music. Then this this um kuna nini kuna right. mahali ni mm -hmm. sija breakthrough right i wanted if the blood of jesus and the power of god is behind my music i wanted to go beyond barriers and beyond ba boundaries and that is exactly what happened and uh of course it opened up the the platform for right. the gospel music to reach out to the people there and i'm very 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 grateful to god and today, yes. actually, a lot of the gospel music plays yes. in those places. And we celebrate you for, I mean, just allowing God to open that door for other musicians Amen. as well. Amen. And you have participated in, uh, you know, beauty pageants, especially yeah. the misses. Yes. Yeah, how has that journey been for you? I, I thank God because um, when I re I'm one person who loves challenges and to, to max my to maximize every potential that I may have. And um, I also love family, and I, I love marriage. I've been, I've been married, this is my 20th year in marriage. Uh, so Mrs. Universe is not your, your normal beauty pageant. Mm -hmm. It's advocacy for family and marriage values. So when I was nominated by the, the global, the Mrs. Universe global chapter, to represent my country, they nominate women who have done exem exemplary well in whatever you do, mm -hmm. and those who are passionate in doing things for the benefit of others. I've done, I've spearheaded a lot of initiatives for the benefit of others in the country, like hand washing campaign, oh, blood right. donation. So I've worked a lot with the corporate, and I thank God. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when they nominated me, I was there to represent Kenya as a woman who is a loud voice. 
uh, for advocacy for marriage and family values right. because we live in days where we are told marriages don't work mm. especially if you're beautiful you're you're, you're famous <laughs> but it's a lie of the devil because marriage is the institution of god and it's a beautiful institution and it works i've been married for 20 years Amen. this is my 20th year and it has worked for you yeah so when i went to russia to represent kenya I also got crowned wow. with them. So I have the global crown for Mrs. Universe as well. That's a huge feat. Eh? <laughs> and I also got to do, uh, to get some endorsements um, uh, with three different companies there in Russia. Mm -hmm. And I did photo shoot for them. I did wow. for Infinity, the, the, vehicle, the vehicle manufacturing company. Yeah. I did for a jewel company nice. and a golf course. Nice. Yeah. Why well, <laughs> 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 but the corporates in Kenya have also really right. been very supportive. Of, they've worked with me a lot. They've, they've recognized my brand as the Star Home because I've done, uh, I've had uh, quite a number of uh, big endorsements. Yes. yes. Of late you had uh, Airtel. Airtel, right? yeah. I had Airtel. It was wonderful working with Airtel. Amazing. Yes, I've, I've done, I've worked with Unilever as a face of life boy together with Yvonne Chaka Chaka. Wow. Yes. Sadiq has been looking for endorsements. And <laughs> there's one huge Sadiq is here. my son and he's, he's doing son. a lovely work. Sasa <laughs> hiyo, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And he can do a lot of things. Sinio. Yeah. He's a great man. He has yeah. the looks and he has the potential yeah. in every way. Yes, and then he <laughs> serves God diligently. Amen. Yes. And same to you. Amen. Yeah, I know you wouldn't also <laughs> mind an endorsement. Sindio. It's 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 very good that um, even as gospel ministers to nawakilisha kila mahali. Amen. Mm. In the corporate wherever. Yes. Amen. Yes. You you have been uh, just as we wind up, you have mm. been doing quite quite a lot with the community yes and quite a number of projects yes so that you just keep back tell us a, a bit about some of those projects the projects i'm about to undertake right now i've been appointed as a chair chairperson for an ngo that wants to do to to bring awareness about autism uh, because mm. it's, it's such a huge uh, problem in our country and people don't know about autism and so many, so many families have kids uh, who, who are born autistic. I am a mother of an autistic son. Oh. So basically what we are about to roll out is an awareness campaign and a lot, a lot of things, uh, educative things about autism. Basically just highlight and educate and, uh, you know, deal with the situation. So that they yeah. find help. Yeah, they find and help, counseling, and comfort. For, for those who are wondering, what is mm. autism? Um, autism is a spectrum disorder. You are born with it, uh, but you can maximi maximize your potential with therapy and all these things. Uh, and it's different with every kid and, with right. every, and, and the, the cause is unknown. Uh, like, for example, my son did not speak until he was six years. Wow. It's mm -hmm. different for other kids. True. Yeah, but the kid is normal, physically handsome. You can never tell an autistic kid until you see the behavior mm -hmm. of an autistic kid. So it's just, it, it just a matter of therapy, counseling, diet, and all these things. But you can imagine for those people, poor people who are not able to get to, to mind, know right. the, 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 the details, the condition, what to do, and even pay good therapy for their children. True. So those are the, uh, as, a, as, as a chairperson for New Horizon, which mm -hmm. is dealing with that, I want to just do a campaign Amen. in the whole of the country Amen. Yeah, to help in that area awareness that's yes. really powerful yes. and may god go ahead of you amen as you do that as we wind mm. up uh, esther yes i mean the gospel industry you have been there yes for more than 20 years you see now it's about 23 20, about 23 years about yes. 23 yes. years you have seen everything you Can know the sad. beginning yes you know what is happening right now yes and uh there have been squabbles here and there mm. and people have different kinds of agenda mm -hmm. we want you as um as someone who has authority mm -hmm. and having been there mm -hmm. to share with the just in a minute with the those who are struggling mm -hmm. those who are struggling mm -hmm. there are those who think i need to do this to mm -hmm. be famous mm -hmm. there are those who don't know where to start from mm -hmm. there are those who are already there but are thinking you know what mm -hmm. i and I, I want to give up mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. share with them as we wind up 
I start with uh, I talk to the camera. Yes. I start with uh, those who are starting and the, the young generation, our sons and our daughters, who are really desperate for fame. If you look for it, you won't find it. And if you find it, it will be temporary. Mm -hmm. So, even when you become famous, or people tell you you're the best, you should remember that they always say that to a different person every year. So you shouldn't think like you're the one who has dropped from heaven and the others don't matter so that you lose your call and your direction. So when somebody tells you you are the best and there has never been anybody like you, just ignore. Be polite, but don't let it mm -hmm. get into get you to because there will always be somebody doing an extra thing, a more beautiful thing than you. Then. If you embrace your name and your voice and your talent, then you will lose it one way or the other. Probably 10 years, 20 years down the line, you'll get so frustrated and nobody will ever remember you. So just embrace God. Everything else follows. The money will come. The fame will come. And if it comes, it's not to glorify yourself. It's to glorify God, to help you reach out to the people. If the money comes, it's to help you minister in dignity and even more powerfully. So God bless you. And uh, for, those, for those who have been there for some time and probably you, you've never had your breakthrough, God works in miraculous ways. Mm -hmm. And depending on who you are and what kind of a call and assignment you have, some people, God works on them for years for 10 years before they get a breakthrough, for five years. So as long as you hold on God, he is not a man that he can lie. One day you will shine. One day God will showcase you for his glory, not yours. Amen. And you will be relevant generations after, after generations. generations. Amen. Yes. Thank you very much, Esther. Asante. We wish you well. We pray that God will keep you. Amina. Even to that point, you are 80 mm -hmm. or 90, you will mm -hmm. still be doing endorsements. Kabisa na kuimba. Sidiyo, na kuimba. Haa. Saa hindi yo nyimbo zina kuimba. So that you will do it. Yes. I mean, grand, your grandchildren will be thinking, that is our great grandmother. Yes. Look at what she's still doing. And so, I'm not too far from there, I think. My girl is already 18 years oh my. old. We should have sung that. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so now, nah. That small yes. girl was in that Yeah, movie. just the 18. other day. Yeah, she's 18. Ah, uh, we thank yeah, God. Yes. So thank you very much. I think we'll, we'll stand. We mm -hmm. get to dance. Okay. Uh, Oops, my mic. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So then we'll get to dance together. Okay. And then uh, we will do it for the Lord. Amen. All right.